Daymac is a Canadian company that's primarily known for producing electric two-wheelers and urban mobility vehicles. Today they're trying their luck in the three-wheeler car scene. Their upcoming Spiritus vehicle will be suitable for carrying two passengers, will feature autonomous driving capabilities, and will cover distances close to 300 miles between charges. The vehicle's powertrain will be able to generate up to 110 kilowatts of power, thus letting you accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in a matter of seconds. The three-wheeler's 60 kilowatt hour battery pack will support a variety of charging options, the most powerful of which will top the battery to the fullest in about two hours. This EV will also feature a set of solar panels that can add supplementary charge to the battery on sunny days. Electrom is an innovative personal transportation solution that's as powerful as an entry-level scooter, has 4.3 cubic feet of cargo carrying capacity, but could still be classified as a bicycle and ridden in the bike lanes. Unlike most pedal assist bicycles out there, this model is equipped with a dual motor powertrain and using a unique GCD system. The GCD stands for Generator and Chain Drive. And here is a quick recap of how this works. The rider's pedals are simultaneously hooked up to two chains. The system splits the pedaling energy and is sending the power to two separate mechanisms. The first mechanism powers a 600-watt onboard generator that charges the battery, while the second mechanism is sending additional power for the back wheel. This extra power comes especially handy when you need to accelerate quickly or get up the steep hill. Once the riding speeds exceed 10 miles per hour, the power is being channeled towards the generator only. The combined motor output is equal to 3.7 kilowatts, and this is enough to reach speeds close to 40 miles per hour. This innovative urban transport could be equipped with either one or two battery packs. There are 72 volt, 20 amp hour units that could bring the total battery capacity to 2,880 watt hours, thus offering up to 125 miles of pedal assisted range. Claim to become the most efficient electric car on the automobile market, the Aptera three-wheeler was designed to capitalize on aerodynamic efficiency and the use of solar energy. Despite the aerodynamics-focused design, the model will have enough room for two people and a safety setup similar to the Formula One safety cell with special dividers and an advanced airbag system. The Aptera will be offered in two motor configurations and four battery options, with the largest one storing enough juice for a thousand-mile trip. Besides being able to cover long distances, this tiny little car will have a Tesla-like acceleration capability and be able to sprint from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 3.5 seconds. The large solar array that's incorporated in the vehicle's body can restore up to 40 miles of range after spending a day in the sun. Electric Mechanica is a Canadian manufacturer of electric vehicles that's mainly known for their electric mini car called the Solo. The first prototype of three-wheeled Solo models were introduced in 2016 and its main priority was to offer a very efficient way of traveling for Solo travelers. Even though the company had to overcome a variety of obstacles, they're proud to announce that the first consumer deliveries of their cars will take place this year. This tiny vehicle is brought in motion by a 41 kilowatt motor that's juiced by a compact 7.3 kilowatt hour battery pack. It ensures up to 100 miles of travel and can be recharged in two and a half hours from a 220 volt socket. Inside the Solo's cabin uses vegan friendly materials and enjoys modern in-car tech such as heated seats, air conditioning and Bluetooth stereo.
In an effort to reinvent personal city transport, a company from Norway created the Frikar. The next-generation Velo Mobile is said to benefit from features that are inherent to small cars, namely good road visibility, aerodynamic efficiency, and seating comfort. While being classified as a pedal-assisted electric bike, as a result, the Frikar is eligible for riding in the bike lanes. The model features a powertrain that consists of three motors and is used to provide pedal-assisted riding. The battery-only speed is limited to 15 miles per hour in order to comply with regulations, but higher speeds could be achieved by intense pedaling. One battery pack would let you ride between 31 and 50 miles, but the model was designed to carry several packs at once. The creator of this bike have taken their rider safety seriously, so every model has bright lights and turn indicators, seat belts, and a rollover protection system. Inside the cabin, you'll be able to find room for a passenger up to 6.5 feet tall and an air filtration system, 5.6 cubic feet of storage space, rain protection, and obtain an optional heating system. The memory of Germany's iconic cabin scooter has been revitalized in a form of an electric Velo Mobile. Even though this urban mobility vehicle looks like a retro-inspired microcar that's rolling on just three wheels, in its essence is just a pedal-assisted bicycle. The three-wheeler is equipped with a 250-watt electric motor that's capable of putting out 350 watts of peak output. The motor power, alongside the pedal output, is channeled through an 8-speed transmission thus letting you reach speeds up to 16 miles per hour. Unlike a regular bicycle, this Velo Mobile is equipped with a padded bucket seat that can be adjusted for riders with height from 5 feet 4 inches and 6 feet 4 inches. Besides having a comfortable riding position, the rider is protected with a fiberglass composite body and a retractable roof. As standard, this model comes with a 36-volt, 17.2-amp-hour battery pack that is enough juice to carry the combined weight of 265 pounds for the distances between 37 and 50 miles. The estimated range depends on the riding conditions and the amount of pedal output, but if needed, the range could be extended by installing an additional battery pack. IEV Motors, an electric urban mobility company from Denmark, has recently announced that they've gotten one step closer to producing their tiny electric car. Several years ago, we've already witnessed the presentation of the X model by IEV Motors. It was a commuting vehicle that could expand in length in order to carry more passengers and cargo. The new and updated model is now called IEV Motors Z. The Z model has three operating positions. In its regular position, the vehicle is 57 inches long and is suitable for carrying just the driver. The activation of the second position would extend the length to 92.5 inches, thus opening the room for one more passenger. And finally, the third position extends the length to 108 inches, this creating additional space for cargo. This microcar features a carbon steel chassis and a variety of 3D printed parts. It's powered by an electric motor with one kilowatt of output and 28 miles per hour top speed capabilities. The installed battery pack is said to provide up to 60 miles of zero emission riding. The complete recharge cycle from the power outlet would take about three hours, while tiny solar panels on the roof serve as supplementary sources of electricity. Kinnercar is a young electric mobility company from Finland that's trying to make the crowd fall in love with its highly exclusive Velo Mobiles. Created with eco-friendly materials and lightweight components, the Kinnercar is said to be the ultimate solution for those who require a reliable commuting vehicle for going to work, picking up groceries, or just taking your friend on a road trip. This urban transport was precisely designed to fit the European regulations for pedal-assisted vehicles. It's 112 inches long, 39 inches wide, and has an 87-inch wheelbase. Consequently, it would be operated without a license and be ridden in bike lanes. The Kinner Car Company does not disclose the exact electric powertrain specifications for their Velo Mobile, as most of the components are discussed with the potential buyers. 
Besides the powertrain specifications, the buyers would be able to choose the color, type of tires, add a windscreen, mirrors, lights, blinkers, and many other custom gadgets. Our team is working hard on bringing the latest and greatest news from the world of electric two-wheelers. If you'd like to support our efforts, please subscribe for further updates and feel free to share our work with your friends or request new product reviews in the comments section below. Thanks once again and till next time.